Hi guys, Abs here. I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of the changes that we've made to the HQ Suggest software. Um, after we actually released the software, guys, one of the updates that we made was regarding the location you can scrape when scraping from Google. Um, so this only applies to Google, guys. It doesn't apply to the other search engines. Um, and all you need to do now is actually click on the drop down menu, um, choose the Google um, of your choice, um, and you can actually scrape from that location. If you find a Google, if, if you want, if you need a Google that you can't find on here, um, then by all means, just get in contact with us and we'll get that listed on here for you. Um, so that's fantastic, guys. That was one of the updates that we released. Um, another update that we actually released and I wasn't able to speak about in the actual sales video um, was how the software actually supports foreign um, characters, um, characters and letters of the alphabet that have accents on them, um, such as the French language and um, the German language um, and various other European languages. Um, so the software actually, if it comes across these accent accent letters and and words in in French and German um, then it will actually scrape them and save them for you it'll also allow you to actually import your own questions um, in the French language you know in the German language and other European languages um, however when it actually goes through the letters of the alphabet um, then it still uses A to Z in the English language um, we're gonna have a look to see if, if we can actually um, build in support and functionality so that users can um, upload their own alphabet um, but we will need to have a look at that guys um, and it's nothing that I can promise at the moment um, so that's fantastic um, that's one of the updates guys well two updates that we've released um, but one of the more um, kind of questions that I've been um, you know hearing lately um, well I've been hearing our users ask is um, how can we actually find out the keyword data um, such as how can we find out what kind of search volumes they're bringing in um, and what they're not so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually show you these questions. I've actually scraped these here. As you can see, I used about four different um, um, questions. I used social media. Um, I used keyword scrape questions only and keyword related only so we can get much more precise search and the A to Z search feature as well. Um, in total, we got, let me have a look, I think 840 results. Fantastic. Um, now, the main thing is, is, is I'm, I'm sure you're wondering now, out of these questions and out of this data that I've got, what holds the most traffic? Um, what do I use on my sites? What do I use as my anchor text? Um, what has this got to do with the Google Hummingbird update? Or how can we take advantage of this? Um, so um, two things that I'm gonna I'm gonna point out. Um, firstly, we're gonna um, I'm gonna show you how you can get the volume of these um, through the Google Keyword Planner, um, and I'll be showing you that in a moment. Um, but the second thing is I want to. I, I want to point out is some fantastic training that I'm actually working on um, and in the training that I'm working on um, we're not really focusing on um, targeting something like um, like in in the normal fashion that we do so say for example you've got a keyword um, that sends over 530 global visitors um, every single month for example and you think okay that matches my criteria and I'm going to be optimizing for that for that keyword um, the main idea that I'm going to be showing you well two options and two methods that I'm going to be showing you one of the methods that I'm going to be showing you is how after the Google Hummingbird update we can actually take advantage of these kind of questions that we're getting from HQ suggest add them onto our sites in a very um, special manner um, but in such a way guys that it's going to bring up and show Google the relevancy of our sites um, for our main keywords um, so these are going to be like helper topics, um, helper topics that are going to be providing value for our customers or sorry, for our visitors and users. Um, but it's also going to be providing that valuable data that we need to be sending Google so that they can increase our um, rankings in the search engines um, based on the relevancy um, of the subject that is being searched for. Again, guys, this is all about relationship of keywords um, and not just keywords now. Sorry, it's about a relationship of words in a query that's getting typed into the search engines. And slowly what we're going to start to see as well um, is users are going to be typing in much more full and in-depth queries um, because they're going to slowly start to understand in order to get a proper search, um, in order to get good results back from Google, they need to give them a good query to work on. And the one, two, three typical type of keyword queries um, are no longer going to be the norm of search. Um, so anyway, it's fantastic training. I'm hoping to get it out within one or two weeks, guys. Um, and I'm really hoping to provide it to all of you um, because it's going to be something that you're, you know, we're all going to be wanting to implement. Um, and it's a very different approach at actually working with Google um, after the Hummingbird update. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, I'm going to import these or I'm going to go ahead over to um, the Google Keyword Planner.
Now, um, the Google Keyword Planner, guys, um, to use it, you need an AdWords account. So if you haven't got an AdWords account, um, even if you're not going to use it, it's well worth signing up for an account, guys. Um, once you're logged into your AdWords account, you can click on Tools and Analysis and click on the Keyword Planner. So I'm actually on the Keyword Planner here, um, and you've got a number of options that Google allows you um, to use um, and basically use it to optimize and make a good decision on what ad, what keywords you're going to be bidding on uh, for your AdWords. But we're not going to be using it for AdWords. We're going to be using it just to get the volume um, of the keywords. So what we're going to be focusing on is this method here, get search volume for a list of keywords or group them into ad groups. So I'm going to click on that, guys. Um, and you've got a bunch of information that Google gives you here. Um, you can actually enter them in here one at a time. We're going to upload the file. <clears throat> So anyway, if you want to do broad matches, phrase matches, or exact matches, just read the details here. Um, but what we're going to do is upload that file. So this is the file that I upload, that I actually scraped. And I'm going to keep these as targeting United States as the geographical location, Google, and not search partners. Um, and I've got no negative keywords in there anyway. So um, I'm going to get search volume now. So I'm going to click on get search volume. And what's happened here is Google's telling me about a bunch of errors. I'm going to click on ignore and upload file. But you can always have a look at the errors here. And normally they're due to having special characters that Google doesn't support or because your query is too long. So you basically your, your questions are too long. So I'm going to click on ignore and upload anyway. Um, once we're on here, um, Google's automatically grouped them on here saying, you know, um, in the business category, they've got 30 queries that match the business category, the definition category. If we have a look at them, you can see exactly why they grouped them like this. You've got like, what is social media definition? What is social media? And it, it's also it's all from the questions of, of basically what is the definition of what are the benefits of? As you can see, Google's done them there. But we're not interested in that. We're going to click on keyword ideas. OK, and now we're on the keyword ideas, guys. As you can see, you get your average monthly search volume um, and it also tells you what the AdWords competition and everything is as well, uh, which is fantastic. And if you have a look, we've got 833 in total. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure exactly how much you can upload in here. Um, I think on um, Terry Carl's forum, um, Traffic Planet, um, I did read a post that he actually made on there. Um, making notes to uploading, I think, up to 10,000 um, keywords at a time, which is absolutely fantastic if, 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 you know, if this is the way you're going to be targeting. Obviously, you can click on average monthly search volumes and you can get your data this way. Um, I'm not going to be showing you exactly um, you, you know, what kind of keywords we're going to be targeting, what kind of keywords we're not going to be targeting. Um, it's all going to be included in that guide that I'm going to be hopefully sending out. Um, I have promised our social users about this um, and I'm hopefully you know, looking forward to working with you guys um, with HQ Suggest um, and showing you exactly how we can use this data um, to really take our site's traffic higher, increase it in a massive way, um, but not looking at just data like this. Um, it's going to be a very different way of working with it, a relevancy way, um, providing authority in your niche. Um, and it's going to be very simple and easy to achieve this. Um, which I'm going to be covering. Anyway, another thing that I wanted to cover as well, guys, um, is okay. So, so now you know, you know, this is exactly how you can find your keyword data, your sorry, your keyword searches and monthly searches, whatever. You can download it now. You can get it as a CSV file. Um, you can open it up and you can evaluate whatever you want to evaluate. Um, but anyway, um, the next thing that I wanted to speak to you about was um, a post that we have on our support forum. Um, it's a post by um, um, one of our um, one of our users of Sociusin called Auto Fanatic, um, and it's regarding the Hummingbird update and how we saw a 400% increase. Um, now, he's talking about using Sociusind, um, but I don't want you to focus on using Sociusind with, with this topic. Um, the area that I want you to focus on um, is the notes that he makes here on how he uses question type of queries um, on his sites, um, how he lays out his contents. Um, he has blog posts, he has articles, he has catalogs, he has helper topics, he has cedar topics, and and is very precise on here, guys. Um, and this will give you a real good understanding of, of how how we can really send out and set up our sites, um, you know, to give us the kind of love that Auto Fanatic actually received as well, which was like a 400% increase after the Hummingbird update. Um, now he, he comes on here. He comes on here quite a lot. He actually replies to um, um, the, the forum as well, which is fantastic. Um, so come on here, ask him his questions. As you can see, he's left a link to our Hummingbird update as well. 
which is brilliant. So um, go ahead, watch the Google Hummingbird update there as well. Um, now, obviously, this talks mainly, well, it, it does touch on the backlinks as well. So he talks about how he sets up his anchor text, how he sets up his main URLs, how he sets up his main topics and how he chooses his keywords um, or how he chooses his um primary secondary and 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 whatnot your keywords anyway um have a read through it it's fantastic guys to put it into practice there's two things that we can do um use it for our on-site use it for our off-site um on-site have a read of this i'm going to be re i'm going to be releasing some training within the next couple of weeks as well um and obviously off-site um i'm going to be releasing an email about that tomorrow so thank you very much guys and i hope you like working with the update um and obviously with the google um keyword planner as well